flyest to ever walk in here. You might be missing and wondering who the fuck this is. Thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all know what this is, man. This is JFK's Way. Uh, I'm your host, of course. I'm JFK, man. Uh, I, I wanted to give you guys a different view today, man. As you guys see, if you check out my last video, I did a clink room presentation. I was showing you guys some of the clinks that I had uh, just throughout the few years. Uh, and long story short, today I'm showing you guys another side. Uh, I'm giving you guys a view, man. Right now, this ain't this ain't views from the vault. I'm not a uh, <laughs> I'm not a three three man group. I'm not a four man group. Um, I'm not in collaborations with anybody yet as of yet so this right now literally is just a guy just me being a collector throughout the years casually rocking hats is collecting and buying the stuff that i like so we're gonna jump straight into this man as you guys see what i got up here i got a plethora just some of the some of the bisons i got man they're going crazy right now but i'm gonna open this box that i recently recently got so before i get to that definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed hit that like button before you do anything else and uh, comment, let me know what you guys think, man. Again, I'm giving you guys views from the host, man. Views from the host, the same views from the vault. Uh, the day of K, man. Day of K, your host. I'm giving you guys views. So let me show you guys real quick what I got in this box. Now, today I got a package. Uh, this box is actually from a company called Capsule, as you guys can see. But uh, this is not a Capsule hat, if this is what I think it is. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into this, man. I ain't going to talk to you guys too much. Uh, and why I am getting into this, like I said, I'm showing you guys... Uh, one of my designs before I'm actually going to show you guys that again today uh, and I have some stuff coming up I promise you guys man I've just been back and forth trying to find an embroiderer uh, trying to find somebody I can really be reliable uh, guy that I thought I was going to be going back and forth with doing some stuff we really don't talk that much so you know I need somebody that I can be speaking to you know fluently on some of these designs so I'm searching man I'm searching trying to give you guys good quality stuff uh, whenever I do come out with some of these logos. So let's get straight into this, this, this unboxing right now. And yeah, there she is. But this is what I was thinking it was, and I'm glad that it is. This is my seventh, technically my eighth, but my seventh actual release. Boom. Now this Bison's right now, there is a lot of mixed feelings about it. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Too many colors for some. Too. This was released directly from New Era, the company right here that you always constantly see. The on-field guys, the guys that make the Major League Baseball hats throughout history. This is directly a release from them. White interior. Why did they chose to go with the white gut, the white guts? Uh, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, for comfortability reasons, it's different material, so I do like it. But uh, this was out of the, the release that came out. This was the only one that sold out. I think they did uh, 16 or 17 hats, somewhere around there, somewhere definitely in the teens. It was like two or three pages of hats. This is the only one that sold out. Now this logo, like I said, has been going insane. As you guys see, I've done a few videos actually on some. I showed you guys an error one, actually where it's actually misplaced, where the logo is, is pushed way over to the side. Uh, and thanks for anybody out there in the community. If you guys are watching this and you have helped me acquire any of these, thank you so much. Uh, I got this from a guy for uh, I think like 60 or 65 bucks. Uh, I don't think it was too, too bad being that the hat itself was like 50. So I, I just appreciate it, to, again, very appreciative to the guys that, that have definitely helped me out, helped me make some of my collection as far as what it is right now, as far as these Bisons go. Because like I said, these hats have been going nuts. I actually showed you guys this in a previous video. This was actually my numero uno, my favorite hat from their release. Now, they, they, these two hats are from the same collaboration, as you guys see. I mean, from the same release. You know what I mean? They're both minor league, minor league logos from New Era. So, yeah. Gray UVs, both have a white sweatband, white interior, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, they have $41.99 on, on the price tag on these. So with shipping and stuff like that, it probably came in around $50, maybe $55, or something like that. So to pay $65 for Bisons, like I said, the only one that sold out, I was not too, too mad about. You can actually check out New Era's website. They do still have some of these up. And uh, there's actually a few more I actually like. There's like there's two or three more logos that I actually like. So uh, I have my own ideas. Again, a certain stuff that I would like to see done to some of these hats. So um, I have, I've been paying a digitizer to, to digitize the logo that I like. So if you don't know what that means, uh, for these logos, a machine has to, it has to run through a machine so they can get stitched and embroidered on hats. So when that happens, you have to, for us individuals, we have to pay to get them digitized. Unless you know somebody that, that's into digitizing to get your logo ran through the machine that actually does the stitching for this. That's how the station comes out. The machine reads the logo, it sees it, it prints what it sees. Well, stitches what it sees, should I say. So I'm going to go through some of these actually right now. I'm going to show you guys some of these. This was actually another recent one that I pretty much picked up from a pretty good guy. He looked out for me. This one has a pink UV or a peach-ish UV. This is purple. 
So um, I've actually been in talks of just trying to, again, trying to get a side pass done to this. Uh, again, it's just who can you rely on, man? Who can you rely on? So I'm just really trying to work with somebody that I know. I can be like, yo, let's make this happen. They're like, cool, let's make this happen. And it happens. Uh, I just had a lot of back and forth with a few people, actually, not just one person. Uh, there's a guy that I'm kind of cool with, Liz. Shouts out to him. Uh, I will be talking to him again soon, sooner than later. But again, just trying to get some of these logos actually done. Uh, and again, even on blanks, my actual logo. Like I said, I got ideas for stuff I personally would really like to see. This right here was the very first one I've done. And actually, the manager at a store looked out for me and did this. This one right here actually glows in the dark. You guys cannot see it from there, but he actually gave me this pen as well. So I believe this was, this was for children with autism. So I chose to throw that on the side, being that he gave it to me the day that we got this done. And this, again, is a version you will not see. Uh, this was actually done on a blank. Great UV. Like I said, I paid to get the to get the logo done. So I actually do have the logo. And there's actually a side patch. I'll actually show you guys right now. Uh, one of the most unique and best side patches for minor league logos is this right, right here. Now, this was actually removed. So you can no longer, they will no longer be using these on hats. I do not know the reason they remove stuff. I'm not, again, I'm not a pro. I'm not, I'm genuinely just a fan. A guy that loves hats and always rock fitted casually, you know, go with your attire just to be fly. I've always been a guy like that. So why they actually remove logos in baseball, I'm not 100% sure. But this right here, this black one was on my hunt list for a while. And then I believe they did a restock, one or two restocks of this exact same hat. So this hat has not become as rare, but people still want 100 plus for the hat. You know, when a hat was 40, 50 bucks, if that. So you're still doubling your money. Red UV, white interior, clean, man, clean. Again, and for those of you that do not know, I'm going to give you guys a brief history. Rumor has it, rumor has it. Uh, I've spoke to a few people and they were saying that we have this man right here, the legendary Jackie Robinson, to actually thank, you know, for the attributes of this right here. Because thanks to this iconic slide, forever, the iconic slide that Jackie Robinson constantly did, that is why they chose to make that logo, the Bison slide, as you guys see what's going on. But um, yeah, man, again, a lot of logos that you see, you see a lot of alphabets for the main part. Like even this, there's just a B. Uh, for for the Bisons, but this right here, this logo, of course, was definitely epic and throughout the years. I was around literally 14, 15 years ago when Mouth Fitted was nobody. They had Street Fighter snapback hats. They had a ton of AHL hats. If you don't know what AHL is, it's American Hockey. And they also had one of these, ladies and gentlemen, and that hat set. It set so long that I was like, I'll come back and get it. I came back, I bought something else, I'll come back and get it. I'll come back, and now, lo and behold, look what's happening. A plethora of Bisons. Now this one right here is the original Lucky Charms version. As you see, I've actually added a pen because this is M. Bison from Street Fighter. So if you look at the outfit, this is a metal pen. Like the company actually made this. So if you look at the outfit and then look at the outfit on the Bison, it was just perfect to me. It was just flawless. And I've never seen nobody do it. On top of that, this is a rare pen to have. And this is a very rare hat to have. I've seen some of these pens go for $80, $90. Just a pen. This thing right here. The actual character M. Bison from Street Fighter. I've seen these go for $80, $90 a piece, man. No joke. This hat, of course, again, this was from, from a few years back. You got a peach, pinkish kind of UV right there for the, the marshmallow shade. You got that Lucky Charms multi-shaded side patch. You got the peach New Era logo. And boom, you got something that you also don't see on every hat, which is a baseball. And in the center of that baseball is a nice, hefty bison. Then you got the, the green pen on top. So this right here, again, icy interior. You know, you got to bring some of these hats, man. You got to have a nice, actual, genuine occasion for you bringing some of these out. This ain't the stuff that you just throw on just to go outside, hang with your buddies, and just, man, you got to be fly when you put one of these on. So like I said, man, I'm giving you guys views from the hosts, man. Views from the hosts from JFK, man. And uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, you guys see some of the collection. Uh, this bison, actually, while I'm, while I'm speaking about it, before I get out of here, I'm going to show you guys this one, too, because this is one of my favorites, man. This pen is not a super, super rare pen. But once again, I grew up off of anime. I'm in the comics. I'm in the video games. This is M. Bison from Street Fighter. It's Bison. It's just only right. So and I'm also going to shout out, shout out my man, my man who really, really looked out for me in the clutch. Uh, he looked out for me a few times, to be honest with you. This pen right here, and I'm not a huge pen guy. I'm not a pen guy, I promise. I just recently have fell into the loop of the new kid era of doing the pins. This pin right here just, he actually did a pin of bison sliding. 
Now this, yes, you guys can see this. I've worn this. This is a flimsy. This, this is this is this is just one of those. I've had this for a while. But uh, red red new era sound how it's supposed to be sticking out. Gray UV, as you guys see. Yes, and I keep my stickers on most of mine. But that Bison's logo, right there. Just I wish this was on a hat because man, oh man. Now this what you guys see. This is the era that I was telling you guys about. I've actually showed this. Uh, a little while ago, but as you see, the logo is not centered at all. The logo is actually coming this direction off of the hat. It's not supposed to be like that. You see how much space is over here? It wasn't stitched straight for whatever reason. I've actually seen a few people uh, since I picked this one up discuss that. So crazy, man. Just crazy how some of these things are. But again, it's, it's from a machine. It's from a machine. So machines make mistakes too. So, uh, but again, man, just showing you guys some of my bison, some of my, some of my gems, some of my favorites. And again, there's a ton of these red version hats uh the new era flagship store in buffalo new york i think they released three not this exact version they don't have a lucky charms version but they have red bisons so and also with that this right here is also hang on let me not drop everything while i'm on video right this right here is also a red bison but again you guys know about street fighter i played street fighter collectively for years i grew up in this era a rare and bison pin looks familiar different outfit with the purple you see how you see how we we alter things on my side right the with the shadow loop pen shadow loop pen for bison that's just what i do on my side man things are a little different i try not to rock what everybody else rocks but the hype has been crazy lately for these hats but again i predate the hype i was around long before the hype way before a lot of these new kids came into the game loving bison so for whatever struck that match and took it off, I'm happy that it did. You know, it definitely made certain stores make newer versions. I don't have those versions, but uh, there is definitely a few that I'm actually going to hunt for. I'll probably get those in the next few months. It's nothing I'm actually looking for immediate, like immediate, immediate. As you guys see, I got plenty of hats. I got, again, you see nothing, everything in this in these containers. They're all tigers. So uh, we can jump straight into that, too. I ain't going to keep you guys too much, but... You see one hat up front, of course, but what's behind that hat? Well, there's other hats behind it. Other hats behind that. Each one of these drawers contains multiple hats. Now, this is just like the brown side of things, as you guys can kind of see. This is from the Mocha collection, which is pretty, pretty rare. These did not come out everywhere. You guys can see this is from the Rust Belt collection. And so on. This is from Sports World. And these, my friends, are from Exclusive Fitteds. Year of the Tiger, man. Year of the Tiger. But we're not here to discuss the Tigers. I just wanted to give you guys an example, especially because I'm wearing a Tiger. But, uh, yeah, man, you guys see plenty of hats, man, plenty of hats. And listen, I got a lot of stuff coming up. Like I said, I am going to be doing my very, very best to take pre-orders. And I'm going to be displaying some beta hats. But I'm calling beta hats, like beta testing, once I get the logos and I get the, full, the first versions of my hats done. I will be displaying them, showing them to you guys to see if anybody out there in the community wants to wants to get one. I uh, will not be charging anything extensive or an excessively huge amount, but uh, I would definitely let you guys know. But thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys for checking out some of my collection. And also, thank you guys for subscribing in advance. If you already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, what you doing, man? It's free. Just hit, just hit the subscribe. Just hit it just one time. Just boom. There you go. One time. But thank you guys for tuning in. And yo, this is not views from the vault. Shouts out to those dudes though, man. But this is views from the host, JFK the Great. Peace and love. Catch me on Instagram, by the way. JFK the Great. And I'm the flyest to ever walk in here. You might be listening, wondering.